This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The Long Island-based carnival operator Newton Shows is in the business of fun. And on the off-season, they get serious about keeping their rides safe and looking great. After years and years of setting them up and taking them down, it takes a little beating a little bit, so you gotta put some fresh paint on them once in a while. This year's project includes an old favorite with little kids. Well, this is uh, the Samba Balloon. This is like the, one of the first rides kids, I think, go on when they're when they want to go up in the air, because it goes up in the air a little bit. It's a little daring for the little kids, and I think they, uh, they enjoy it. We're having a, some lighting issues with this one, so we upgraded to the LEDs, which they don't burn out as quickly, and they look a lot better. It's a big upfront cost to switch everything over. You know, you power everything through the generator, so you're saving fuel that way, because you need less energy. These floors are made out of wood, you know, what happens to wood when it's outside and the rain, will, you know, it starts rotting, so we have to replace some floors. We took every car apart. They packed the bearings, they, you know, with grease and checked them all and replaced the rotted floors. And we replaced all these lights. And we put, added all new stainless steel so it shines, you know, reflects nice. The LEDs change color. They come pre-programmed already. And you just have to put it in a certain pattern that you want. And it came out pretty nice. Keith is the technician who spent hours rewiring the ride. Every light that you see, I pretty much put in. I basically ran wires, you know, the way it should be run. You know, I waxed everything that you see to make it shiny again. These caps break, you can replace them. But these bulbs actually are built in this whole, this whole assembly. This bulb is just one assembly. You would have to replace the whole thing if it breaks. I love seeing kids smile. It's like one of the best, you know, times of my job, honestly. It's awesome. Although the techs enjoy taking these big toys apart, the team has to be careful not to take on too many projects because over the years, they've learned to expect the unexpected. You can never plan out your winter projects. I feel like always in the spring, we're scrambling to get everything together. And then something jumps in and you end up doing something we weren't even planning. Like we were doing, we're doing a dragon wagon now. I wasn't planning on doing that probably about 25 years old and it just after a while it gets a little frail and you know a little fiberglass work and touching up and I have a good fiberglass guy who's working on it over there. Fiberglass specialist Jeff Connors inspects every panel looking for weak spots. When he finds one he builds up the area by first applying a coat of resin. He then layers fiberglass over the area and then dabs more resin to ensure that it stays in place. But every now and then, he finds a crack, and that requires a bit more labor. Seeing there's a crack in there, I have to find the glass on both sides to repair it, to strengthen it. Yeah, I gotta sand it all down, uh, make it nice and smooth, and then the painter will paint it, airbrush it, and make it look pretty. So which rides are you working on, Jeff? Dragon Wagon, Cliffhanger, and a couple other I'm not sure of. The wiring on the Samba balloon is almost complete, so John shows me how the ride works. This is the control panel for the ride. This is how you operate the ride. You know, this, this has all the control wires in it. Start, stop, up, down, manual. And then the main wire runs to, the, to our generator. Power in to the box, and then this wire goes to the ride for the controls. This is on a timer. It goes up, runs for a minute, and then comes back down by itself and stops. The good thing about these major overhauls is that they don't happen too often. Well, as long as you keep up with your maintenance, your routine maintenance on it, it'll last. Hopefully another 10 years. I was hoping to go up on a test ride, but the Samba balloons just weren't ready to fly. And the big question is, will they be ready to fly on opening day? We'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> 